We begin with that heroic moment on a high speed train. Two American servicemen and their friend on vacation in France praise for stopping what could have been a mass killing. Tonight, this video inside that train, there's the attacker tied up. Those Americans beating him with his own rifle. One of them seriously hurt in the takedown, and we are learning more about these heroes, their quick decision to act today. President Obama calling each of them to thank them for their courage. ABC's Ron Claiborne leads us off. Spencer Stone waved as he left the French hospital tonight, where he had been treated for cuts to his neck and hand, sustained in a furious struggle with a heavily armed suspect on that high-speed train. This video showing the dramatic scene on the train. Stone shirtless and bleeding, tending to another passenger. His attacker, the gunman, tied up a few feet away, not moving. On a nearby seat, the gunman's automatic weapon. Authorities say those three Americans and a British man took down the suspect after he shot another passenger. Almost certainly, they prevented a massacre. The two unwounded Americans praising their friend's quick actions. Spencer ran a good 10 meters to get to the guy, and we didn't know that his gun wasn't working or anything like that. Spencer just ran anyway. I'm really proud of my friend that he uh, yeah. just reacted so quickly and so bravely. The suspect was identified as Ayub El Kazani, a 26-year-old native of Morocco. French authorities say he may have belonged to a radical Islamist movement. On board the train, authorities found an AK-47, a handgun, a box cutter, and ammunition. And it could have been a real carnage, and there's no question about that. We're very lucky that nobody got killed, especially Spencer. President Obama today praising the three Americans, Stone, Oregon National Guardsman Alex Scarlatos, who was returning from duty in Afghanistan, and their civilian friend, Anthony Sadler. Tonight, Stone, just out of the hospital, is expected to be reunited with his fellow heroes. And tonight, El Kazani is in French custody undergoing interrogation. He lived in Belgium and was known to Belgian authorities. Investigators there and in France are now trying to determine where he got the weapons, all those weapons he had on that train, and what he planned to do with them. Cecilia. Ron, what those servicemen did was totally remarkable. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good to see you tonight.